Thank you for your interest in submitting an abstract to DDW, the world's largest gathering of physicians and researchers in the fields of gastroenterology, hepatology, endoscopy, and gastrointestinal surgery. This video will show you how to submit your abstract for consideration for the 2019 meeting that will be held May 18th through 21st at the San Diego Convention Center. The DDW Abstract Submission Site will open at 9 a.m. on Thursday, October 18th and will close on Saturday, December 1st at 9 p.m. Eastern. No submissions will be accepted after the December 1st deadline. Before you submit your abstract, please visit ddw.org forward slash abstracts to read the full rules of submission and formatting guidelines. When you're ready to submit, please visit the submission site located at ddw2019.abstractcentral.com. After you navigate to ddw2019.abstractcentral.com, you'll see the login fields on the right side of the page. If you are a returning user, enter your user ID and password and click Login. If you have an account but can't remember your password, click the Forgot Password link and enter your email address for assistance. If this is your first time submitting an abstract to DDW, please set up your account by clicking on the Create an Account link. After you log in, you may be prompted to update your contact information or to complete your DDW 2019 financial disclosure. Click OK to proceed to the disclosure form. As part of the disclosure process, authors are required to either disclose their financial relationships with commercial interests or indicate that none exist. Answer all questions on the disclosure page marked by red asterisk and then click the Save Changes button at the bottom of the page. When you're ready to submit your abstract, click the Submission tab in the top right corner to get started. Please be sure to disable any pop-up blockers in your browser before you begin. On the Submission page, click the Create New Submission link. There are five steps in the Abstract Submission site you will need to complete, and we'll now walk through each one. The first step is to select a submission type based on your abstract type and the society to which you wish to submit. After you have made your selection, you will be asked to confirm your submission category before proceeding. Please note that submission categories cannot be changed. If you proceed and later decide to submit your abstract to a different society, You'll need to create an entirely new abstract submission. If you wish to proceed with this submission type, click Continue with this type. The next step in the submission process is to enter your abstract's title and body. You may copy and paste from your processing software or enter the information directly into the required fields. Please note that all abstract titles must be capitalized, but you can still use superscript, subscript, and special characters in your abstract title. To add special characters, click the Omega button. To submit a table or image with your abstract, scroll down to the bottom of the page. A total of two tables or images may be submitted per abstract. You may build a table from scratch by clicking on Add Table. There's no character limit for tables, but they may be scaled down for publication. If you prefer not to build your table at the site, you may upload your table as an image. To upload an image, click Select Image and choose the file you wish to upload. Next, click Upload Chosen Image to add the image to your abstract. After you've answered all of the required questions on this page marked by a red asterisk, click Save and Continue to move to the next step. To complete Step 3 in the Abstract Submission process, answer the required questions on this page marked by a red asterisk. First, you will be required to select a presentation type along with appropriate category and subcategory for your abstract. You must also agree to the DDW rules for submission available at the DDW website. Additional questions will vary by society. When you have finished this step, click Save and Continue. To complete Step 4 of the submission process, enter your abstract co-authors and their affiliations. The submitting author's name and affiliation will automatically populate the screen, but can be removed. To add additional authors, click the Add Author button. When adding an author, first search to see if he or she already has an account. Enter either the author's name or email address and click Search. If your search resulted in a person you want to add to your abstract, click the Add link to the left of his or her name to add him as a co-author. If your search did not result in a previously existing account, you can add your co-author by clicking the Create an Author button to add the person's information to your abstract. You will now need to add your co-author's contact information. Full name and email address is required. After you've added all of your co-authors, Select the presenting author by clicking on the radio dial button next to the presenting author's name. 
only one author may be listed as the presenting author. If you need to reorder the author list, use the drop-down menu to select the correct author order and then click Update Author Order. You may also reorder the author affiliations by clicking on the Reorder Affiliations button in the top right corner of the page. After you've listed all co-authors in the correct order, click Save and Continue to move on to the final step of the abstract submission process. The final step of the submission process is to review and submit your abstract. Use this page to double check your submission. Completed items will display with a green check. You'll see a red check next to any outstanding items that must be completed before you submit your abstract. You can edit any section of your abstract by clicking on the Edit button in each step. To go directly to a specific question, click the red Incomplete button. You can view a proof of your abstract by scrolling to the bottom of the screen and clicking View Proof. Once you have finished reviewing your abstract and are ready to submit, click the Complete Payment button at the bottom of the screen. A new window will open where you may enter your payment information. All abstract submissions require a $60 non-refundable abstract processing fee to be paid at the time of submission. Abstracts are not considered submitted until the payment is received. After you've entered your payment information, click Pay Now. After your abstract is successfully submitted, you will see a confirmation on screen. You will also receive an email message confirming the submission. All co-authors will also receive email messages informing them that they have been added to the submission. These messages will contain links co-authors can use to complete their disclosures. If you're not ready to submit your abstract, you are able to save it and return to it at a later date. Abstracts may be edited any time up until the submission deadline of 9 p.m. Eastern on Saturday, December 1st. To edit your draft, simply log into the Abstract Submission site and click the Submission tab. There, you'll see a list of your abstract drafts and submissions. For abstracts currently in draft status, use the drop-down menu and select Edit Draft to make changes to the abstract. Be sure to save your edits when you're finished. You must also remember to submit your abstract before the December 1st deadline, as any abstracts in draft status at that deadline will not be scored or considered for presentation at DBW. Abstracts that have already been submitted can also be edited prior to the submission deadline. To edit a submitted abstract, you must first return it to draft status by clicking on the Return to Draft option from the drop-down menu next to the abstract title. Once the abstract has been returned to draft status, select Edit Draft from the drop-down menu and then edit your abstract. When you have finished making your edits, be sure to save and then resubmit your abstract. You will not be required to pay any additional fees to resubmit your abstract. Please note that you must remember to resubmit your abstract for it to be considered for presentation at DBW. Any abstracts that remain in draft status after the December 1st deadline submission has passed will not be scored or considered for DBW. For technical assistance or any questions related to the submission website, please contact Scholar1 Customer Support. For program-related questions, please contact DBW Administration. Thank you for your interest in submitting an abstract to DBW 2019. We look forward to seeing you in San Diego.